I absolutely do see it as a religion. I mean, they've got everything. Like you said, the sacraments, they have their martyrs. You look at people like George Floyd. I mean, they have every component that would classify or define a religion all on display. But these are the same people who tend to think that like religion is archaic and outdated and things like that. You know, they'll, they'll make fun of people like myself for thinking like George Washington is a hero. But then you look at who they idolize. They idolize, you know, celebrities. They idolize these degenerate pop culture figures. So I would even take it further, not just that it's a religion, but it's uh, satanic in particular, you know, the way, I don't know if you're a Christian. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay. So yeah. the, the way that uh, we understand evil is that evil cannot create anything. It can only destroy and pervert that which is natural and good. And you look at even the language that surrounds the abortion issue compared to what Christ said. He said, this is my body. I give it up to you. He comes and he sacrifices himself brutally to redeem man. And you look at the way the abortion issue is marketed, they say it's my body, my choice, and now sacrificing this life that they've created for their own convenience. Or even with the, the transgender issue, it's a very similar thing where, of course, we know there are lots of demons who are androgynous, and I think there's something to be said about that. But the way that God would take a, a rib from man to create woman, the complementary sex, they now will take from themselves skin grafts to artificially create false like male anatomy on themselves instead of, you know, the way that it should exist naturally. So it's all very perverted and I think satanic.